What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and we're gonna take you to Brooklyn, New York. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Y'all a brewheads? Yeah, we brewheads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. All right, guys. So Tiff and I are here. Hey. hey. Rocking out, get it into gear. We are in Brooklyn, New York City right now. We're in town for uh, Afropunk, a our favorite time of year actually, a music festival. But since we're in New York, of course, we're going to hit some breweries. So, in lieu of doing a podcast, we were thinking, or Tiff came up with the brilliant idea of doing a Brooklyn brew pub crawl. So, right now we're in Red Hook, um, which is just over the bridge essentially from Manhattan. Um, and the first brew pub we're going to is Other Half. Which is just around the corner here. We went here last time, last year, it was super fire. Um, they usually have like crazy can releases and all sorts of stuff this uh, on the weekends, but we thought, well, you know what, instead of popping in before Afro Punk, we'll just come today. Sometimes they have leftovers. Last year I got a four pack of a session IPA or something that didn't sell out immediately. So uh, let's get drinking. in Brooklyn. Um, so we're starting off with this bad boy which is called Crickets. It's a Pilsner. Uh, this is my first Pilsner I've ever had from other half. It is I think about 5%. Uh, crisp, bready, exactly what you'd expect from a uh, solid Pilsner. Since today is going to be a brew pub crawl, it's going to be a long day. Better to start with that one. All right. Next up, I've always wanted to try this one. This is the Double Dry Hot Cheddar. Uh, it looks like it's around... Jeff, can you see what that ABV of the first, very top row, third one from the left, DDH Cheddar? Uh, it is... I'm a bit blind. 7.9%. 7.9? Look at that. Hazy ass, mate. All right. Get in here. Oh, glorious. Um, <laughs> right? Fruity. Um, super dry. Hella, hella tropical. Um, I'm not sure what hops. They probably sail there. I'm just too blind to read. Um, yeah, extremely tropical. Really, really easy to drink. It's 7 9. But next up is. I am in the order here. This would be the Simcoe Daydream. I asked them what the, uh, the newest beers that they're dropping. So this is one of the newer ones. Oh, you so see that. You see that here. It's not really focusing so well. It's alright, whatever. Uh, Simcoe Daydream. 6%. 6? Yeah. 6 percent. Oats and lactose, hops and cinnamon. Ooh, lactose, lactose. Hashtag team lactose all day. Get in there. Yeah, okay. Oats okay, and lactose. Super subtle. Um, definitely much more tangy than the last one. Um, fruity, tropical. I feel there's a bit of bitterness on this one. Technically, this would be a milkshake. I'm not a milkshake IPA, it's an IPA we like. Also, by the way, they're playing Eric Badu in here right now, which is perfect as we just saw her last night at Afro Punk. He was amazing. Alright, and the last one. This is also another one. Is the, uh, I believe the Nelson and Mosaic. Look at that one. Super dark compared to the rest. Nelson Mosaic. Oh, wow. Really different. That's really tangy. Yeah, super fruity as well with Nelson. I love that. Um, a bit on the whiny side, which is great. So super loud in here. Love that other little thing in there at the top. So uh, these beers are phenomenal. I really would like to drink more, but I, in the interest of pursuing today's activities, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to stick with these four. I'll probably get a T-shirt and a four-pack to go. Um, so. Love it. We'll see you in the next spot.
Hi Chop, so we're here in Williamsburg at Threes. This is their second uh, location. The first one is actually not too far from the other half. Um, we didn't do that one just because this particular place is in the same area as like all the rest of the brew pub grow happen to be in Williamsburg which is extraordinarily convenient especially because brew pubs have crazy short hours I don't know why they usually ch close at like 9 or 10 it's like a, a wine type of a situation which is a little on the annoying side but uh, it's super convenient that there's so many great ones in this particular area we are skipping a whole bunch and a little bit in Queens as uh, a few in Bushwick that I wanted to hit but it wouldn't be practical including the subway or uber time particularly at right now it's like five six o'clock shit um, so all right threes so I started with this bad boy which is at Pilsner Fillier uh, five or around five percent nice crisp nose get in ya solid pretty a little bit bitter nice balanced sweetness uh, super great right now it is humid as shit so this is really going down a treat um, they actually don't do flats at this particular location so what I did get was a can so this is there you are can you see that it's a little on that side so it's called there you are it's an IPA it is around six percent or something like that so I chose like a lighter one just in the interest of uh, staying afloat for the whole time it is super hazy getting it mm. it's great creamy almost has like it's got coconut in there or something um, yeah a bit of mango a little bit earthy slightly dank um, but this is going down great as well so uh, yeah they got a bunch of stuff to go they had a nice little range bottles and cans so it's pretty fly this place is sick let's do it all right y'all so just wrapped up Stop number two at Freeze. Uh, super dope. Shout out to the homeboy that uh, took care of us. I forgot his name already. Arbor. Arbor. Cool name. And I never remember names. I know you do. What? Arbor, and I was at Arbor Brewing Co. <laughs> oh, shout out to Dave Seacott. Hashtag Team Lactose. <laughs> hashtag Team Pumpkin. Uh, so that was really dope. We had a nice. Let's walk and talk. We had a nice um, pills, which was great, and a IPA. Very impressed. I had their stuff at. I think we had them at uh, Collective Arts. Yeah. And it was lit. So that was super cool. So what we're going to do now, it's a little out of the way, but we're going to go to Grimm first. So Grimm are a, um, uh, they were a gypsy brewer who finally opened their own location in, um, I guess it's Williamsburg, but it's like we have to take a bus there, which is... I've never taken a New York bus. No, neither have I. I wonder if I'll take the same thing and let us swipe it twice. Because you don't have any enough thing on your card. That's important to know. Actually. The MTA system is trash, dead ass. Like the amount of uh, trouble we've had with the... Uh, with the passes is terrible. Yeah, so we're gonna head down to Grim. I think we have to go over there. Wow, this is a big one. And uh, we'll check it out. So we'll see you out there. Simcoe. I really like that. That's the saddle. 
5.5%, so I'm referring to the notes down here so I can get it correct for y'all. All right, so the next one is the Spiritual Consultant IPA. This one is 7.5%. Get in here. Okay, like a ballsier version of the, uh, the last one. Uh, Rakao and Mosaic, lots of uh, kiwi hops there. Nice and chill. Um, Cloud Landing, double IPA. 8% with uh, Moteca and Simcoe hops. Get in here. Oh yeah, these guys are so good. Phenomenal. Feels like landing on a cloud. But if not, after image, you got the big dog. She ain't mess around. Never. Double IPA, 9% Mosaic Simcoe El Dorado. Get in here. Tip, what do you reckon? Yeah, I heard it makes happen. Oh man. So Grim, we only, last time we actually had Grim was when we came last year to New York. So. Super excited to actually check the place. They were, like I said, they were a gypsy brewer for some time. Got out this wicked like space out here. It's pretty random. It's a Monday night at like seven o'clock or something, eight o'clock. So very impressed. Um, we're gonna enjoy these beers and then we'll see you at the next one. All right, y'all. So just had a nice dinner at Sweet Chick, which is a restaurant owned by Nas. Uh, one of the greatest rappers of all time, if you didn't know. Uh, and we've been wanting to go to that spot for a hot, hot minute. So we were like, all right, it was around the corner from Brooklyn Brewery. So we pull up and I'm seeing what I see behind me. So Tiff just found out on the website, they do last call 30 minutes before the end or before closing. And we got here like close 11, we got here like just after 10.30. We got here like 10.32 or something. Yeah, so we missed it. Craig's really drunk now anyways, so. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know why. We only went to three places. I, I didn't think I had that much beer and then I was sort of adding up the volume. And it was probably the equivalent of maybe three to four tall cans. I'm just like, I feel like I'm just tired and drunk. It's really high ABV beers as well. And it was a mix. So what I think we might do is just go to Greenpoint, which was the last stop anyway. Greenpoint looked great. Yeah. So. So it's only up the road, so let's go check that out. Awesome. All right. Greenpoint in, uh, I guess it's Greenpoint in Williamsburg. Um, after Brooklyn, I'm kind of happy that it didn't work out because I'm done, man. Like, I didn't realize that the volume of uh, alcohol would be this trip. So this bad boy is called Super Collider. It is a lactose IPA. Of course, I have to finish up on a lactose. Hashtag Team Lactose. I'm getting it. Mm. Fruity, tangy, bitter. You can't really taste the lactose in this. Things around the seven percent mark. Nice and chill. Um, this place is pretty, pretty cool. Um, right now it's dead and it's like towards closing time on a Monday, so it's not exactly jamming. Get in here. All right, y'all. So that concludes. All right, y'all, what's good? It's C. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Who is he? <laughs> it's Tiffany, certified brew head. So, that is it for the Brooklyn Brew Pub Crawl 2018 as. Uh, we only end up hitting four spots, but to be honest, that was kind of enough. Um, Brooklyn was closed, like I said. So, you know, we missed out on that, but that's okay. We're looking at Manhattan in the background. Freaking gorgeous. But look, there's so many places here in Brooklyn that we could hit. Uh, the only issue was today is a Monday. And... Brew pubs already have pretty 
shortened hours so a lot of them didn't even open until 5 p.m. so we were very very restricted with what we could do um, which is why we only managed to hit four and in between of course we had to go eat uh, I got pretty quickly mash up today for some reason not sure why maybe I'm tired maybe I went harder than I thought but um, yo, really good time. The beer here is phenomenal. So if you get a chance, check out these four or five places that we talked about. And there's so many more. Interborough, KCBC, Finback. Um, dude told me about something else today, like Shorts Rope or something like that. Um, there's so many spots. It's super, super sick. So that is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, mate, give us a big fat thumbs up. Hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell, ding, so you know when the new new drops. Follow us Tell on social us media. We should go. Yeah, tell us if there's any other spots. More often, so I'd like to know because your homies told you about Taurus. Yeah. I knew about Taurus. That was on the list so today. We didn't get to go. We wouldn't have made it in time, unfortunately, yeah. which sucked. Because I, I would love to hear where else we should go because we're not that far of a drive. It's the same drive as the Toronto drive. So That's it. I'd like to come and see more. So. Hundred percent. If there's any way you guys want to see us go, uh, holla at us. Um, yeah, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast, and that's where you can hit us up with your suggestions. And of course, check out the long form audio. We're here on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your long form talky audio. That is it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Get in ya. Get in ya.